Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing some monster figures because next week will be Halloween itself on the 31st. But we got a whole mess of monster figures in this basket. We got a Gujitsu. We got some Alien. We got a Shark Plush. Got some epic horror figures here in the collection. We got some wind-up monsters, which we'll be going into a little skid after this. But yeah, a nice-looking lot of monster figures. And yeah, these figures are simple, fun easy to mess around with but now it's been a minute we're gonna look at each and every figure before we to the skid first we got this plushy shark he must must have lost an eye when i found him but otherwise from this side it's a pretty cool shark he's got these little straps on him so you can strap on the stuff or whatever it's an option you can do it with this not much same about the shark no articulation but if you move his tail with your hands and his fins, you can totally do that. Options are good. Next on the list, we got these little wind-up monsters, which are very simple. I'm going to wind one up, wind it up. And it walks on its own. Oh, that is so much fun. He walks on his own. Let's wind up the other one. The huh. witch. He must have glitched on me. But yeah, these are fun little wind-up toys. I love having these in my collection now. I got these at work, and I had some perks saved up, so I bought all three of them. As far as I'm going to go with this line, because it's so much fun. Another thing I found for free, this is an item I found for free. It's a squish ball jack-o'-lantern. If you squish it, you can see some beads in there. Oh, that's so much fun. To mess around with. Because it's a squish ball. <laughs> so much fun. It's a little jack-o'-lantern. Definitely keeping that. That's all it does. Next, we got a Gujitsu action figure. I was hesitant on picking these up in the past, but they look so much fun. Look at this. He can stretch. I mean, like, stretch punch. Pew, pew. Head does move. Stretch punch. Stretch leg. Stretch kick. Stress kick. These are a lot of fun for what I got this at the Goody Will outlet. I definitely am glad to have this guy. He is just so much fun. He can't stand on his own. You see, he just falls over. One thing about Gujitsu, they don't stand too well. But a lot of fun these figures are. Before we get on to the Xenomorph Queen, we got these little random figures. We got a Skeleton Archer. Be like, take this, pew, pew, arrow, arrow. And yeah, he's an undead skeleton archer. Definitely going to add him to the monster collection. No articulation. We got this little zombie ice cream man who's like, brain cone. <laughs> yeah, I love to have fun. Because yeah, he's a zombie ice cream man. So he's eating brains on an ice cream cone. That's so much fun for this. Definitely keeping that for sure. Next, I got this little alien thing. Looks like he's pretty cheap. Stretchy alien. A lot of fun. But won't stand up on his own. But he's still an alien. Why not? Next, we got this figure. It's from Battlestar Galactica. And she is a lizard girl. And yeah, she looks pretty cool. Articulation. She can move. Definitely looking forward to adding her to the monster collection. Because, yeah, she's like a Black Lagoon monster lizard girl. And she's, like, so cute. Definitely keeping her in the collection, for sure. Next on the list, we got the Up Epic monster figure I've been wanting for a very long time. This is the Alien Xenomorph Queen, baby. We got my first alien figure. It's the Xenomorph. And she has a tongue that pops out. When you press this button, 
her tongue pops out with the mouth and be like, your brains and all that. Oh, that's so much fun. But before we end this video, we're going to get down to comparisons with the Xenomorph Queen. Articulation, legs move, arms move, little arms move, somewhat. So a lot of movement on these arms, which is so much fun. Little arms move as well. Just not very well, because this is a vintage 1980s Kenner figure of the alien Xenomorph Queen. I will appreciate this figure in my collection, because I love Alien now. But now, before we end this video, let's get down to the most important thing. Comparisons. Here is my Xenomorph Queen next to my 12-inch Xenomorph Alien figure. This figure is bigger than the Xenomorph Queen, which is a shame, really. Definitely going to put those on the shelf. Put that on the shelf. Now we're going to get some scale figures out. We got my custom Laconial Marine next to the Xenomorph Queen. Why not? There I say, why not? And next to that is the Predator, Mecha Predator figure. Definitely a fun figure. Definitely glad to add this to the collection. And that's all there is to say for this video. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.